What's good guys, in today's video we are going to compare the audio from $1000 worth of audio gear for the voiceover with neural networks which are built into Final Cut Pro 10 with the latest version of Final Cut and also with Adobe Podcast Online kind of neural network or AI which kind of does magic but does it really? Let's find out. So guys, if you want to know more about my audio setup, I have a previous video on my channel where I discuss everything. You can look at the tag I use right here on the screenshot. And now let's compare the audio quality with those two neural networks. And now guys, let's try to compare the audio and to fix the audio from the iPhone and from the Rode Video Mic Pro and my camera. My $1000 setup, one, two, three mic check, one, two, three, mic check. Now, guys, you can hear the audio from the iPhone 13 Pro Max one meter away without any post processing. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. Now, let's apply the final cut AI. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. And now, let's apply the Adobe Podcast. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. And now, let's apply the Adobe Podcast. One, two, three, mic check. 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 And now, guys, you can hear the audio from the Sony A7S III with a Rode Video Mic Pro one and a half meters away from me. One, two, three, mic check. Let's apply the Final Cut Pro AI. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. And then let's apply the Adobe Podcast. One, two, three, mic check. 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 Now, guys, let's do some tests outside with professional microphones. I'll let you know all of the settings down below. So read the settings in the lower part of the video and we'll apply different AI uh, algorithms, neural networks to try to clean up the audio. And now, guys, let's test this plugin or this neural network with this uh, condition. So here I have my iPhone 13 Pro Max recording the sound quite a little bit. So you can hear the outside noises and also in camera Sony A7S III with two different microphones. Here is the Rogue Video Mic Pro, one, two, three, mic check. Here is the Kamika VM20 shotgun microphone as well, one, two, three, mic check. And here is the iPhone 13 Pro Max with Adobe uh, Sound Enhance or Voice Enhance plugin uh, for free, by the way. One, two, three, mic check. So what's the difference, guys? Which one do you prefer and which one sounds uh, the best for you? Just let me know. By the way, it's not that far from my mouth. I mean, the microphones are a bit farther than the iPhone. And also, guys, some systems do have built-in noise cancellation or noise reduction. So this Comica Vimo C system has one. I'll have a link down below for the review of this system as well. And now let's have a listen uh, the noise cancellation feature. One, two, three, let's go. So here it is. The noise cancellation feature turned on. It's from the transmitter itself. How do you like the sound? And now let's try to clean the same uh, thing with the neural network. One, two, three, mic check. Noise cancellation of the Kamika Vimo C microphone. One, two, three, mic check. Noise cancellation with the Adobe Enhancer Mural Network. So how do you like the sound? How does it compare? And one, two, three, mic check. No noise cancellation at all. So basically only the sound of the microphone without any post-processing. And now guys, let's test those two microphones in terms of the distance. So here we have at about one meter away and I'll be going backwards so you can hear the difference between those two mics when I go uh, like a bit further away from those two. So here it is at one meter, one, two, three, mic check, one, two, three, mic check. Now let's get a bit further. So here we are at about three meters away, one, two, three, mic check, one, two, three, mic check. Now let's get keyboard further. Check this part. This is about five to seven meters away. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. This is about five to seven meters away. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. This is about five to seven meters away. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. And now I'm behind this little snowman, which is kind of melted right now. So one, two, three, mic check. 
One, two, three, my check. We're heading about 10 meters away further, maybe 12 meters. So, how do you like the results? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. So, how do you like the results? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. So, how do you like the results? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And now, guys, I've lowered the gain of microphone, so it's zero on the road and like two on the Kamika. And now we're here in the very windy spot in my backyard. And now, guys, I've lowered the gain of microphone, so it's zero on the road and like two on the Kamika. And now we're here in the very windy spot in my backyard. And now, guys, I've lowered the gain of microphone, so it's zero on the road and like two on the Kamika. And now we're here in the very windy spot in my backyard. And now, guys, we're still at about one and a half meters away from the microphone, and this is the sound of the Sony A7S III built in microphone against iPhone 14 Pro Max. And now, guys, we're still at about one and a half meters away from the microphone, and this is the sound of the Sony A7S III built in microphone against iPhone 14 Pro Max. And now, guys, we're still at about one and a half meters away from the microphone, and this is the sound of the Sony A7S III built in microphone against iPhone 14 Pro Max. And now, guys, we're still at about one and a half meters away from the microphone. And also, guys, it wasn't really fair to compare my microphone up close with the iPhone standing like one and a half meters away from me. That is why iPhone 14 Pro Max right now is really close to my mouth. And now let's compare those two. So now, guys, you're hearing my system uh, with my regular corrections. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. Now you hear the iPhone 14 Pro Max up close without any corrections. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. Now you hear the iPhone with the Final Cut Pro 10 voice isolation. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. And now you hear the iPhone 14 Pro Max voice memo app with Adobe Podcast. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. So now, guys, you're hearing my system uh, with my regular corrections. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. So how do you like the sound? What do you think of it? And is it as clean and as good sounding as my regular setup right here? Tell me in the comment section below. Let me tell you guys my thoughts on those two systems from Final Cut Voice Isolation and from Adobe Podcast. In my opinion, they are doing a great job in some cases, but also we have some issues. For instance, in Final Cut, it's not as reducing the background noise and overall ambience as with Adobe Podcast, but it sounds more natural and works in more cases. So I do like that the Final Cut now has this feature built in. Big thumbs up for it. Adobe Podcast uh, needs good quality audio straight away. So if you're somewhere far from the microphone, if you have a ton of um, background noise or people around you, you'll have some issues. And also it changes the depth of your voice, the loudness, not, not the loudness, the timbre, is there a word, a timbre? So basically it makes you more bassy and it applies both to women and to men. And this is not something I would want to have from this system. Maybe they'll fix it in the future, who knows. Also, the system makes you sound like you have problems with your articulation. For instance, the S sound is sounding terrible and you start to sound like if you have some you know, issues <laughs> or something else in your mouth. So it's not great as well. Also, sometimes it doesn't recognize some shortcuts like ASAP or some professional terms, and it just you know replaces it with a different sound like I showed you in a couple of examples before. But all in all, guys, it's great that this system is free. This neural network is totally free and you can simply send an audio file and get the result. And if you don't like the result, you can work with it in Final Cut or in other software. But still, why not to try the Adobe Podcast Speech Enhancer to just maybe it will work who knows and uh, for most of the people it's doing magic but to me it's not so guys that's been it i hope you did enjoy this test and comparison and i think that it's great that now we have the neural networks on our side of the things and we can clean up the audio more but it's not doing magic it has some drawbacks and you gotta use your gear carefully not relying too heavily on some software if you did enjoy this video guys, please smash the like and subscribe buttons and the notifications bell. My name is Alek Nikitin and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.